For this project, you will need the elastic lace, the pico elastic, the elastic for the straps, the rings and the sliders, and my rings and sliders are 10 millimeters, the same as my elastic. The threads, some needles to pin the fabric, the scissors, the lighter, the piece of chalk to outline the pattern, and the pattern you'll find the link in the description box below. Fold the lace in half and make sure that the scallops are matching each other. Then place the pattern on the scallop's edge, outline everything with the chalk and after cut it off. And don't forget to put the marks for the straps. On top of the front element, place the back element face to face to each other and align the side seams. Pin it with the needles. Now go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here. When you finish to sew, it should look this way. This is the front element and this is the back one. Make sure that the side seam pushed to the back element of the top. Cut off the left over of the threads. Next, grab the elastic and sew it on here. And also don't forget to sew the side seam. You need to place the elastic on the wrong side of the fabric and after sew it here. When you sew, you don't stretch the fabric. You stretch a little bit only the elastic. Fold the fabric face to face this way and align the side seams together. After pin them with the needles. And after go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here. Place the elastic under the needles and start sewing. This is the front element and this is the back one. Make sure to push the side seam to the back element. Pin it with the needle.
Now grab the Pico elastic again and sew it on here. Place the elastic on top of the fabric face to face to each other. Elastic also has a right side and the wrong one. Basically, you need to place a right side to the right side. After, sew it here. Fold the elastic this way and sew here. Now it's time to prepare the straps and for this you will need the elastic for the straps, the rings and the sliders and the ruler. Then according to your pattern cut the straps. By the way, do not stretch the elastic when you measure it. You will need to have two long straps and two short. Next step is to burn the ends of the elastic with the light. After, grab the slider and put the elastic inside. And do exactly the same with all four straps you have. When you finish, go to your sewing machine and sew here. When you start to sew, make sure that there is no any metal object like a slider under your needle. And eliminate the leftover of the threads by using the lighter. Next, grab the strap and put the ring inside. Then, place the same end of the elastic in the slider. And, as usual, do the same with all of them. Next, grab the short strap and place it inside of the ring of the long strap, exactly the same way like you see me doing here. Then, place the end of the short elastic inside of the slider. Do the same with the other straps. After when you finish, grab the ring and place the elastic inside. And sew it here on your sewing machine. Turn the top on the opposite side. 
and after place the straps face to face on top of the mugs which I was showing you earlier in this video. And pin them with the needles. After, grab the Pico elastic again, or whatever elastic you are using, and sew it on here, everywhere around, up to this place. Also, sew it as well here and here. But at the end, keep the free space of the elastic, I'll say around 2-3 cm, so we can sew on our straps later. Before starting to sew on the elastic, don't forget to sew the side seam to prevent it from moving. By the way, for this project you can use absolutely different fabric. For example, here I was using the lace fabric and this will look like a light bralette bra, I'll say. But if you go for more four-way stretch polyester, or I believe you can call it as a lycra as well, then you can make a nice top for your gym. Or if you add some bottom, then it will be fantastic swimwear. Actually, here on the side, I'm going to attach for you a video, so you can see an example what you can make with this pattern. And you don't have to be stuck just using this as a bra. So basically, what I'm trying to say that you can use this pattern in so many different ways. If you see some fabric is coming out, don't be afraid to trim this place, but be careful, do not cut the elastic. By the way, this is what I meant by saying keep the free space of the elastic.
grab the strap and place the elastic of the top inside of the ring. Then pin this place with the needle. Do the same with the short strap. You need to pin it here. And do the same on the other side. Next, go to your sewing machine and sew everywhere where you have the needles. Do the cleanup by cutting the left over of the elastic. After, eliminate the fluffiness of the elastic with the lighter. And that's it! Bye!